Welcome back friends. It was a little over a month ago that Milwaukee introduced at one of their pipeline events their introduction into the laser levels. So this is something I'm really excited about. They're right now available for pre-order. They will be in the stores pretty soon. I'm going to show you in this video a quick overview of each one and then somewhere over the next couple weeks, I'm going to do a dedicated tool review on each one. So if you have any questions about a specific one, let me know. I'll be happy to try to include that in the videos coming up. If you hear some geese honking right now, all the Canadian geese are flying overhead. So <laughs> I apologize for that sound. All right, so I just want to take a quick minute to mention the things that I like about these lasers right here. So the first thing is they really feel like they're very rugged. They're built for being able to be dropped. They all have like the one meter drop rating. And this also has the IP54 rating so it can handle some dust and some water. They all have a green laser, which is better than the red. I have tested some other brands between the red and the green and going over different distances, long distances, medium and short distances. You can definitely see the green better. It's brighter. I didn't realize this until watching one of the Milwaukee events. I didn't realize that it actually takes more energy to power the green laser. And speaking of that, I like that Milwaukee offers, re everything here is rechargeable. So if it's the M12 like this right here, or if it's the red lithium, there's three lasers that run on the red lithium USB battery right here that's rechargeable. I believe they advertise that you can keep recharging this and it'll replace, I think like 4,000 alkaline batteries. So instead of going out and buying batteries all the time, you just recharge it. The other thing I like is these all have this integrated bracket that they sit on. Some are slightly different and they all have these amplified rare earth magnets. Let me show you my dump trailer over here, how these hold. So there's the four magnets, just locks in place right there. Now I definitely find the magnets to be really powerful. It does a great job. It doesn't slide down or anything. Definitely holds it in place. Is they all include this nice hard shell case right here. So it's a plastic case. So this, for instance, everything stores nice and neat. Just keeps it well organized. You know, a laser like this is an investment, so when you're storing it, you don't want to drop things on it. So I think it's a great idea to keep it in something like this. So definitely give Milwaukee a thumbs up for doing that. So as I mentioned, it's not going to be too in-depth, but we're going to at least get a quick look at each one right here. So this one is their entry level, and I'll have a link to the Home Depot down below where you can see all the specs, the weight and the size and everything like that. So this one right here is a three point laser. So if you turn it on, you can just see it has a dot there, a dot here and a dot from the top. So that's your three plumb points. This one is priced at 249. So with the integrated mount right there and the rear earth magnets, you can raise or lower that a little bit to do like your micro tuning to get to dial in right where you want it. And right here is where you charge it so you don't have to take the battery out. You can just plug the cord right into there. So this has a two year tool warranty, two year battery warranty, 15 plus hours of runtime on it. So the working range of this is 150 feet. The accuracy is plus or minus 1 8 inch at 33 feet. And it also has a quarter inch thread mount on the bottom. So this is the next laser right here. This is 299. So this is a cross line laser level. This is probably what I've used the most over the last couple years. This is just a really handy thing. Once you start using these, I think it's gonna really change the way you do things. It just simplifies things and it, it, you don't have to worry about holding a level it just automatically self levels for you, which I like. So here's what it looks like. So on the top here, you have your mode. You can do either horizontal, vertical, or do the cross line. So let me show you using this piece of drywall right here. So when you're setting this down, it will self level as long as it's within four degrees of level. If you have it too far out, then it won't self level. See, I'm turning it like that, it's blinking. If you want to leave it, you can lock it and let's say you're doing some kind of angled tile work or something like that, you can do that and then it'll blink, I think like once every like 10 seconds or so. You see it just blinked right there. It's a really bright green line, pretty amazing. 
So right here you'll see it has the off, it has the on where it would be locked, and then the on where it will be unlocked. So you can see when I'm setting it down, just takes a quick second to self level. This has a micro adjustment, so when you turn that dial, it will rotate it right or left. So let me show you that a second. Go vertical, see when I turn that knob, see how it moves that line, right and left. Just a nice way to dial it in exactly the way you want. And so they all come with a case, they're different size cases. This one has eight hours of run time, and as I just pointed out to you, fast alignment micro control. And if you're wondering the working range on this, it's 100 feet, or if you're using the detector, which I'll show you in just a few minutes, that's 165 feet. And like the other one, this has that quarter inch thread size so you can put it on a tripod. The next one is very similar. It has the cross lines as well. In addition to that, it also has the plumb points out the top and the bottom. This one is 349. So I believe the M12 lasers include this target card right here. I'll just show you if you had that and you're trying to dial it in, that micro dial, see how it's going right there? So instead of trying to twist it by hand, you just dial it in that way. And this target card right here will definitely help you see further distances. So here's a close look at this one all the way around. So looking at the laser right here on the bottom, there's a hole where the laser shoots through for that plumb line, and then also one out the top, and it also includes this base right here. All right, let me show you how this base works. You set that down, this slides into it like that. So when you have your vertical line going, that's when you have your plumb points going. So let me show you over here. So if you look at the notepad right there at the top, there is a plumb line going there, and there is also one plumb line, plumb dot going straight down. I'm not holding it steady, but that will self-level. So this has all the same specs, eight hours of runtime. The only other difference here is that it has the riser base that I was talking about. Then as far as the working range goes, on this one it is 100 feet. And then if you're using the detector with it, you can get 165 feet. The accuracy is plus or minus 1 8 inch at 33 feet. And another specification worth mentioning, the plumb point access is two inches with the riser. All right, and then we have the M12 laser. This one right here is 499. This is model number 3622-21. This one is very similar to the previous USB one. It has the cross line and then also has the plumb points out the top and the bottom. Has that same micro adjustment right there. So this one has 125 feet working distance or if you use a laser, it has 165 feet. And then when you get into an M12 like this, it has 15 hours of runtime. And right there is a battery level indicator and there's a mode button right there. You can toggle between the different ones. So when you get into the M12, the case is larger, and then it's a little more deluxe inside. It has this fitted foam right here. It's almost, uh, it's on the order of like that Kaizen foam where it's all custom fit. So you can just put your laser right in there. Everything's laid out very nice. There is some room for some additional accessories that you can get that you'll see in the next laser. It does come with this target card right here. Then it also includes this M12 battery charger right here that fits right in there. And then the target card right here, which is just really lights things up when you hit it. Check that out. Watch as I'm going to the side right here. I'm going to dial it in. You can just see how that works. This has the best visibility. If you see this chart right here against the competition, you can just see the brightness level is better than all the other ones. And the warranty on this one is three years on the tool two years on the battery. Let me show you right here. I'll turn that on just a second. Model 3632-21 and this kit right here runs $599. So this one right here includes a few different brackets. If you're doing some drop ceiling work, something like that, this is going to be really handy for that. So then some of the other cross line lasers, they shoot the laser going forward where this one right here, this shoots at 360 degrees, as I'll show you in just a second. So this right here, this is 360. You can kind of see that all the way around. All right, so if I want to take the horizontal off and just do vertical, see I can do that there. 
See right there, 90 degree points. And then if I want to do the top as well too, you can run all three different ones at the same time. Just really gives you a lot of options. And again, I like with the integrated base right here, these magnets. So this will swivel and turn so you can dial in right where you want it. So for me, this type of tool right here will work really well if I'm doing some framing, like when I'm laying out a basement, I wanna make sure the walls are at a perfect 90 degree angle. So if you put this up on a tripod, you can just see on the floor right there, you have that perfect 90 degree angle. I'm having a hard time holding it steady, but hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. And then also when it comes to framing a basement, there's some accessories. So let's say you are doing a drop ceiling. This is a clamp. And that would go to the top track right there of your drop ceiling. And then there's this accessory right here. This has some magnets on the back. So that would go somewhere on here. You have the rear magnets on the laser itself. So that attaches to this. So over here is a lock button. So once you get it where you want, you twist that tight. I'm gonna loosen it. And there's a knob on this side right here. You can raise and lower it. You can fine tune it so you can dial your ceiling in right where you want. And then if you're wanting to dial it in like right or left, you can also use this knob on the laser itself to change that angle too. So let's look at some of the specs right here. This one has all day runtime. So one battery right here, the four amp hour battery, that's gonna give you 15 plus hours of runtime. You can also see right here how this laser compares to the other ones as well, definitely the brightest. Same ratings for dropping in the IP54. This one has the best warranty of all of them. This has three years on the tool, three years on the battery. And the working range on this, 125 feet by itself, or 165 feet with a laser. Accuracy plus or minus 1 8 inch at 33 feet. So my goal of this video is to help you guys out by quickly showing you each one of these in case you're considering the purchase of them just to show you what they look like and the specs and the price on them. So if you have any questions about these so far, let me know. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.